Hey, welcome to Soda Beers Jacket Barbecue. Check out the wings we did on the rotisserie on, the, on Jack's gas grill. Hey, I'm Craig, man, behind the cameras, Jack. On location today, Jack's house. The wives are in making cookies, so we figured we'd do a few shoots and uh, feed them while we're doing it. So, uh, like I said, Jack's house got the gas grill, got the Napoleon basket set up on the rotisserie. So, I got, called it a family pack of wings that I picked up. I call that lunch, so I'm not sure who's else is going to eat it, but I'm sure we'll share a little bit. But hit it in advance here with some of the uh, spicy Nashville Honky Tonk by PS Seasonings. Used this once before to make some sandwiches. It was actually really excellent. So uh, not going to be too fancy, just on the gas grill. He has an infrared burner on the back side of it, which you'll see once we do it. And we're just going to let them cook away till they're done. So, uh, oh, I should say that half of them probably hit with some red hot sauce at the end. Um, just to make them a little bit more spicy for a little mix of wings. So, uh, see you on the grill. All right, let's get these chicken wings on. I said the burner's in the back there. I think all we're going to do is do about 15 minutes here or 10 minutes and then we'll check it out and see what happens or see what it looks like. Make sure it works first, I guess. All right, we're going to let that go about 10 minutes. We'll check them out. All right, so we hit the 10 minute mark. This figure we'll share what's going on, but we took a peek before doing this video part. We're going to let them go another 10 and see what they start looking like, but there's no rush. It's a nice fall day. There's beer and we got food coming. All right, there's another 10 minutes. Like I said we took a peek before, not a whole lot happening, so we're just gonna let it ride out. I'm probably gonna let it go a good 15 minutes now, but I see things starting to happen now, so uh, we'll get there. All right, that was another 15 minutes. Now we're at 35 minutes total. And you can see they're getting done. If I was an impatient person, I could light up the underneath here and get even a little bit more heat on them, but I'm going to let it ride out. Like I said, there's no rush here today, so uh, we'll see. But they're getting done, just looking for some crispy skin to happen soon. All right, so we're at another 15 minutes, but I'm going to do a reading here, and I think then I'm going to actually um, turn the bottom burn zone. Like I said, I'm a patient person and don't mind doing it, but the heat source is back there, and because this rotisserie only spins clockwise, all the wings are hanging out the back here and not getting the benefit of that heat there. So, and we're and that long and only had 140 degrees on that wing. So it's definitely needs some heat from underneath. So what we're going to do is turn it on underneath and maybe show you in another five, 10 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, so now we just had 10 minutes with the uh, burners on below it and we're definitely getting some action now. So, uh, let's see that, we'll, got one sticking there. We're probably at temperature now. Yeah, we're at 180, 190 there. That one's showing a little bit lower yet, 165, so we're gonna go a little more though. I'm actually gonna turn, I have everything on medium as far as the grill goes, so. All right, once it gets moving, we'll have less flame there. All right. Probably just another five minutes or so, and we'll see what happens. I see one sticking over there. I'm going to try to get that off. I'll let go. Perfect. Three more minutes, so we're going to have some good wings here. All right, so that did the trick. I had everything on medium for a while, and it was working out well. Threw it on high just for like the last minute and a half here and uh, just turn them off so now when it sits there, when I pull it off here, no fire starts up from the dripping. So, uh, looks good though. We'll see you on the cutting board for these. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the longest cook I've ever done for wings. So, learned a lesson there. First time trying the Napoleon Basket on Jack's Gas Grill. Um, doing the wings, going 10 minutes at a time, figuring no problem, you know, half hour these can be done. 
Well, after about 45 minutes, I'm like, what is taking so long? So I actually realized you know, the rotisserie again only goes one direction uh, clockwise, and it was all the wings were kind of hanging at the back of the basket, so not enough heat were there. Turned the burners on, first we turned on medium, and then I turned on high for a little bit, and back to medium, and then high at the very end. And in 10 minutes, they were done, because we had them at like 130 something, so it didn't take long to kind of finish them off once uh, we got some heat underneath them. But lesson learned, deploying basket on uh, the gas grill, heat from underneath is gonna be the way to go, I think. So uh, that's what it, but now nice and crispy, got half these with just the, the PS seasonings, Hot, a spicy Nashville honky tonk, and then I did this other batch in the back here in, in red hot sauce. If you can see them, but uh, I'll just try one with just the seasoning. I know that that Nashville hot is pretty good, so uh, I think nice and crispy. Hmm. We heard that crunch when I bit into it, but it was definitely a nice crispy wing. So. Boy, that seasoning now just all of a sudden hit me with the heat, so that's a good one. So, uh, hope you like what you're seeing. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.